again, you know, uh, when earthquake happens, it's very important to make uh, make earthquake check, as you see. Our students prepared uh, in their school, in their class, some earthquake check, as you see. So uh, we did we did a lot of things inside. After that, we took photo, as you see. So, you know, we have earthquake in the world and also Turkey. It's very important earthquake drill. Also, we did inside uh, earthquake drill as you on the picture. So, we did exercises in the class and in the, our school, as you see on the photo. Second, our second activity, it was flood. So students learned how to prevent floods with the help on this project. So uh, we used some virtual tools and we, uh, we did them activities and we did experiments as you see. And our, our other activities name fire. We taught kids about fire safety with this fun team activity. We students learned how fire occurs and how it could be put out. Uh, we did some activities about, for example, cover augmented reality. So we used uh, other virtual tools, for example, uh, Kido and um, like this. Volcano, volcano topic it was really fun activities for the students. We made volcano experiment in the class and the students learned how it happens. So it was really great activities for them. They joined enjoyed so much in the class as you see. The other uh, our natural disaster tornado. Uh, the students watched videos about tornado and talked about it in the end. We made an experiment as you see and they learned how, how happens tornado in, in the world. So uh, we have common works on the project. We, we have three common works. So first day it is a leaf activity. Each partner created leaves and wrote some uh, notes on them. After that, they sent each other. Then uh, they took photo. They really uh, they made friendship each other uh, in our project. Our uh, other common work is creating hero of the project. Uh, all partners create one hero photo. After that, they sent to us. All partners voted for the uh, best hero. After that, uh, it was selected, uh, as you see on the photo, this character. Then uh, we had Lego, Lego Education Online Workshop. Uh, we have a member who is Kemal Ersay, really, uh, he helped us so much about his activities. We did online workshops with Kemal Ersay and his two students. It was about recycle, flood, earthquake, and landslide with Lego education. Really, we, we, uh, it was great activity for all. Then, uh, you know, it's very important to create blended country team activities. Uh, we create six teams for the project. Our topic was air pollution, uh, endangered animals, so we speed. Our first activity name air pollution. You know, it's very important to know air pollution for, for the world. So we have to save air for health for uh, for all humans so uh, we, we create some question for the students then uh, some students uh, some students create avatar with uh, 
Avatar Maker and Boki and Chatter Pig. They uh, talk about the, uh, these animals after that we record on sent us. Uh, I put some uh, avatars six but it, I, it's not Sakine here. is not here it's because so it is a PDF and the presentation it was very heavy to upload it. Okay. Uh, but it will be in the publication. Uh, everyone uh, can uh, see it later in the publication. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our second uh, endangered animals activities. It was students who is writing for blind country team going to do this activity. It partner the and endangered endangered. Uh, so uh, the students be, uh, first they uh, draw some pictures about the animals. After that, they talk and. Uh, they record their voice on the avatar. Uh, they, did, they did these activities uh, with Woki and Chatter Pigs and uh, Avatar Maker program. Second, our second activities uh, on the Landed Country teams it was about sowing seeds. Each partner sowed seeds and observed the process of growing of them and took its pet photos and applied them to the on the space on, on the different space. Uh, all students all to the plant some seed uh, in the class so they saved them day by day. So after that now they are you know all, all students are at home so they save uh, their plants in their home. Thank you so much for everything. Truly, I am so happy to be with, uh, to be with you. Uh, so, I am really happy to uh, make this activity for the for uh, We thank for you very much, Sakin, uh, that uh, we finally managed to have you here with us and um, give you the, ch the chance to present uh, your work. Uh, as far as I can see, you have uh, comments, uh, great comments here in the chat box. Uh, if uh, there is any question, you can post it uh, and Sakine will answer it. Uh, otherwise, uh, we, we can uh, go on to the next uh, presentation. Um, it will be... Uh, with uh, Irene Confalona, yes, just give me the time to uh, upload uh, the next part. No, not now. This. Okay. Um, okay, just wait a minute. We are here and uh, um, I cannot see any uh, question here, Sakine. So thank you very much. Let's give the floor to Irene. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Irene, can you activate your microphone and your camera? Can you hear us, Irene? Irene, I made you. Uh, no. Maybe later, let's go to the uh, next presenter because uh, Irene seems that uh, has technical problems. Uh, so, uh, the next presenter is uh, Carmen uh, Chudetti. Give me a second to go on. Uh, and uh, Carmen, with uh, the SVAT project, science will advance through us a uh, twinning project. Uh, we tasted, uh, we, we checked her microphone earlier and uh, it is uh, working. So, uh, Carmen. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, well, we can, can you hear me? 
the floor is yours. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Carmen Guidetti from Ferrara, uh, Italy. Carmen, uh, enable your uh, camera as well. Start sharing yes. your camera. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon again. Uh, uh, thank you a lot for your invitation and you accept our project. I would like to, press, uh, to introduce it. Uh, it's a project, uh, here it is uh, introducing in English language, but it's a language with uh, um, where we can expand and develop our uh, Spanish language uh, learnings with our students. Uh, the title, it's true that the title of the project it's all in English. It's a SWAT, uh, science will advance through us. Uh, we should give, uh, we uh, wanted to give uh, uh, to the project the title of um, a strong uh, team uh, with a high impact. Uh, for this uh, reason, we choose this word SWAT and we can to scan it in different uh, words that give um, a sense of our uh, main aim of the project. The main idea of the project uh, is uh, to focus learnings in some uh, aspects that uh, normal curricula uh, is not concentrated to do. Uh, how is uh, the polar science? Uh, we know that uh, um, throughout European curricular uh, schooling, uh, polar science is not very developed or very or well known. Uh, so we concentrated our project in uh, uh, another one that was launched in 2006-2008. It's called Andrew Project. It's an international project about polar science with uh, three, um, uh, three um, countries participants. Uh, one of them is uh, Italy, and uh, in this project, uh, some uh, teachers were brought in uh, Antarctic uh, science uh, teachers uh, in Antarctica, and uh, there um, they could uh, build uh, build um, a bridge between the um, scientific research and uh, the schools. Uh, so uh, one of our resources were uh, real resources were um, uh, were some um, workings that uh, were done by uh, for that project for Andrew project and uh, we could uh, have the, uh, the opportunity to speak with one of the uh, teachers that were in Antarctica it was another uh, Italian teacher. Uh, since our project is, is, um, uh, is running uh, on by uh, three schools, two Spanish ones and uh, our Italian school, um, we uh, try to share all kind of material, of common material in Spanish language or in English. But the only English uh, material that you can find in our twin space is uh, what it uh, came out from Android project. The other one uh, is uh, about um, different kind of uh, materials that uh, uh, we, like uh, schools, uh, try to simplify to give more opportunity to our students um, to be um, near scientific resources. The methodology was uh, all our work uh, can be seen uh, on the twin space where we uh, divided uh, in different pages uh, during uh, or along two years. This project was created last year and uh, at the end of this academic year uh, will end. Uh, it was divided in uh, three uh, on, uh, in modules of three months each one, and um, the first one, the, the first uh, kind of work that we did was um, study uh, the different material that uh, came from Unreal Research. Uh, then um, we uh, tried to 
to explain and to work uh, with this material with our students and other teachers. And uh, the first impact was very important to our, uh, with our students because uh, they didn't know, uh, some of them, uh, neither know, uh, knew uh, where the polo were or uh, how important it could be uh, to know um, about uh, uh, the Arctic and Antarctic uh, uh, to prevent uh, other kind of um, problems uh, for climate changes. Um, in this, uh, uh, if we could uh, come back, uh, Angelica, uh, could, uh, could you put, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, in these uh, images, we can see uh, the, um, the main parts of our projects because we uh, not only concentrate our work uh, on um, scientific research, but uh, also uh, we um, work uh, we, uh, in different um, curricular aspects. Uh, we could uh, involve uh, students from primary and secondary school, from the uh, three schools. Uh, our uh, smallest uh, students are from five years old, and they work with older ones, uh, about uh, 13 or 14 years old. And it was very important. We develop uh, art uh, uh, skills, and uh, science skills or maths or language skills. Uh, so we tried uh, to involve uh, almost um, uh, curricular aspect we could. Uh, it was very int interesting uh, to see the impact on teachers and teaching because uh, it let uh, us uh, to get more involved among us uh, in, uh, in own schools, but with other schools too. Uh, for our school, it was very important, this project, uh, because uh, it has a good impact into our school. Uh, we could involve other classes and other teachers and all our educative community. Well, all our um, activities can be seen in our twin space. Um, where uh, it is um, divided in pages and there is a calendar for every module and the topic. Uh, the last fo photo you can see uh, is about um, another, uh, another module with uh, story aspects uh, to involve uh, another kind of problem with climate change to see that uh, since our uh, civilization is on the earth, uh, it always try to do uh, good things, but some uh, aspects of our story uh, shows us that uh, not everything what uh, hum humanity uh, did is, uh, is good. Thank you, thank you for this opportunity, and uh, I am on uh, this channel uh, to see other other presentations. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you very much, uh, Carmen. Let's uh, try to connect again with uh, Irene Confalone. Um, Irene, your microphone is open. Can you hear us? Irene? Uh, I'm going back to your presentation. I opened uh, both your uh, devices, uh, microphones, but uh, it uh, seems that uh, it's not possible. I cannot hear you. Maybe you should activate your microphone. Okay, uh, let's try it later. Uh, let's go on to... Yes, yes Irena? Yes, we can hear oh. you. Yes, okay, I'm ready. 
Okay, I will close my camera not to have any technical issues and um, you can start your presentation. Uh, if you can, you can open your camera, you try to open your camera. If you cannot, uh, I will um, uh, change the slides for you and uh, you can start now. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, this is, uh, hi everyone. This is my project activity. Actually, it's um, an activity uh, that I use um, in my school. And uh, we, this is a presentation, a quick presentation of me. I'm a primary school in the southern part of, it, of Italy. And um, uh, I've been teaching since 1991, etc. I've been coordinator of several Erasmus projects of my school. I love e twinning, and uh, since uh, 2012, I'm an e twinner. And I love to, to, to work with e twin with uh, e twinning. We can go on. Thank you. This is a presentation of my school. Uh, Giovanni Falcone School is an institution with kindergarten, primary, and secondary school. Uh, I'm very, I'm very happy to say that my school um, uh, try to involve all the three kinds of school of uh, school in all projects uh, we do. We can go on. Uh, this is uh, the entrance, the hall of my school. Uh, this is a demonstration that uh, we, we um, try to develop the internationalization of the school. And uh, for this reason, we are so happy to, to involve all the students and uh, to develop all kinds of activities. This school received the e twinning school label, and uh, this year, in during this current year, we had the school label. We received the six European quality, etc. Uh, the project is um, as well e twinning project, and uh, we um, uh, we joined the climate action project. The level is from five to nine years old. The key competencies are civil cultural awarenesses and expression. The subjects are uh, cross-curricular, environmental, educational, ge geography, music, history, primary school and the kindergarten are involved. The idea, the plastic pollution is a real problem throughout the world that causes problems in our towns, cities and oceans because it causes so much harm and so much mess. We would like to work with people who want to explore ways to tackle the problems plastic brings to our community by getting the children to research alternative ways of using plastic and different ways of packaging everyday items. We can go on. Oh, uh, let's speak about the, the real activity. Uh, we want to change the world. The children were challenged to put bottles and other plastic school objects uh, to better use by creating new things, recycling. What we can do then? We started from the idea of a fish. We can go on. Yes, uh, the first aim it was to raise awarenesses of uh, environmental problems, and etc. We we can go quicker. Yes, we agree on the specific activities and campaigns that students can organize locally. We did so many activities with the help of family, community and all the school because our school is a very big school we we have got about 900 um, students uh, in the three orders of schools go on the communication the students have been asked to make a drawing of the pollution issues in our planet but the first idea it was to change the world and use to collect all the objects school 
and reuse, recycle, and do new things. This is a creation we did with the help of some uh, parents. We created the sea, the oceans, fishes, with all the gathered, all the collected objects. We can go on. Uh, evaluation, the students evaluated their work at different stages. But the, the point, I, I would like to show you uh, my sway uh, um, in which uh, I, 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 you can see all the activities that we did. Can we open this way, please? Uh, I think it could be quite uh, difficult, uh, Irene, because we have a lot of technical issues uh, today. So uh, the link of this way uh, would be uh, in the publication. So everyone who wants to visit it uh, uh, can join the link. OK. OK, thank you very much. OK. I thank you very much. If there is no uh, question to Irene, we can go on uh, to the next presentation. Thank you. Um, thank you for being here and presenting your work. And uh, let's go to uh, Emma. Emma, uh, you can um, open your microphone and uh, activate uh, your camera. OK. Emma, uh, are you here with us? Um, Emma Abate from Italy, um, and uh, a geography teacher and CLIL teacher's trainer, uh, is going to present us the sustainable city of the future. Is your microphone open, Emma? Can you hear me? Yes, yes perfect. Can you... Perfect. Yes. Uh, open your camera as well in order to be able to see you uh, here. Start uh, open it and start sharing. Okay. Uh, I cannot open my uh, video camera. I don't know why. Anyway, you, you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Go on, please. Thank you. Uh, not my presentation. Anyway, the one I see on the screen. Is this? No, 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 it's not. No, no, it's not. It's uh, garments. Yes, it is garments. Uh, this is yours. This is one. Yes, this is yes, mine. Yes, this is yours. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Angelica. Uh, so I'm a teacher in a high school. My school is Liceo Manzoni in the south of Italy. It's a huge liceo, high school. We have more than 2,000 uh, students. And uh, I am a clear teacher, as Angelica said before. I teach geography, uh, the IGCCU uh, e syllabus, uh, Cambridge uh, syllabus. Uh, the inspiration for this project came from a summer camp I had in, uh, in Finland for the University of Helsinki. It was uh, totally founded by the University of Helsinki last year. And uh, I participated with uh, some tweeners, like, for example, Maria Pia Borgetam that talked uh, this morning. And uh, I, uh, I went on with the project also to uh, obtain the National Geographic uh, Educator Certification. And so after you can see uh, the, the, the whole project on uh, the National Geographic page. Uh, pedagogical approaches that uh, I used for this project uh, are based uh, on challenge-based learning. You know that challenge-based learning is a, a framework for learning while solving real-world challenges. Uh, uh, climate change is between uh, them. Um, is, uh, the other uh, inspiration uh, and the methodologies that I used for this project are, of course, CLEAR, because I'm a CLEAR teacher, uh, debate, as you will see in the next uh, slides, and the problem-based learning. Um, in this way, uh, students investigate and uh, try to solve challenges in a real-world context. OK, you can go on. It's a form of collaborative learning as well. Uh, we can go on with the next slide. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. And uh, here you have a link uh, 
uh, to the European Council uh, page and website uh, for nature-based solutions because uh, uh, here you can see the topic of this project that is uh, um, students will uh, collaborate in a cooperative working approach to plan, to plan an environmental friendly city an eco-sustainable city, uh, uh, mindful to future generations. And so you have a uh, lot of inspiration uh, for this kind of uh, project and topic, uh, just uh, uh, linking, just uh, uh, clicking on this link. Natural basic solution. Uh, the design thinking is uh, at the center of this project uh, because uh, it's a sort of process in which students are asked to analyze uh, uh, problems and to identify alternative strategies and solutions that might not to be uh, so easy to solve. Uh, they are based on empathy, brainstorming of ideas, experimentation, uh, reframing, reframing problems in a human-centric way. Uh, in internet, you find a lots of examples uh, of uh, sustainable cities that are not cities in the, uh, the future, but they are already exist. For example, Helsinki, just uh, to, to, to mention one, uh, but a lots of cities in the USA and also cities in Italy as well. Uh, National Geographic offers a wide range of examples of cities of the future uh, to get inspiration for the project. Uh, here, uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, many of, of, our, of you uh, know, uh, already know uh, the strategy and technique of debate is uh, very important to foster and to boost uh, the 21st century uh, skills. And uh, an example of debate uh, to have uh, with uh, partners and peers from other schools in a training platform uh, is uh, through any debate platform uh, such as Kialo. There are different uh, debate platforms that you can use. But for this project, we found very useful this uh, debate platform. You can share ideas with other students from all over the world, just debating them on this uh, e-platform. Uh, other people from all the world can uh, participate to these debates. For example, for the sustainable city of the future, we have three, uh, three different examples of debate. Private self-drying cars, we make our cities more livable. Should private cars be forbidden in large cities? Should cities have bike share? And these are examples of debate we can share with our students to reflect on sustainable cities and not on our project. Kialo is free, of course, and also other tools that uh, I'm suggesting here and that I'm sure that most of you already know are two uh, free tools. For example, Padlet, this, this is a, a virtual board on which we can share ideas and, uh, and pictures and uh, links. Edmodo is the virtual classrooms that everybody of us is using now for, due to the uh, coronavirus uh, emergency. Tricider, that is a, a tool that many tweeners use. Uh, it's a sort of a survey of a pool tool uh, to collect ideas about uh, uh, one topic and share them. And of course, last but not least, a training space. Gamification is the most important part maybe of this project because I'm uh, also following a project by Indire and the Minister of Education, uh, Italian Minister of Education, about use of Minecraft in, uh, in school and in learning process. Uh, I think that some of, some of you, or maybe your children and uh, your students, are, are very used to, to, with, this, uh, with this game. Minecraft is a very popular game in Italy, but everywhere, especially for teenagers and for the range of students uh, in high school uh, in the first years, because I, I teach in the first years of high schools. And so the, uh, the aim of this project is uh, to build a sustainable city by Minecraft. Minecraft. It's a way also to, uh, to develop uh, a digital competence uh, apart from uh, uh, other important skills, uh, for example, vocabulary skills, because uh, uh, for a clear lessons, uh, students are supposed uh, to, to have content related uh, language and vocabulary. And so this is uh, another idea to develop this project in Minecraft, uh, because there is a, the, the educational version that is free and access is possible to everybody. Uh, it's a job totally free. Uh, Irene, can you please turn the slide for me because uh, I cannot uh, read. Uh, okay. 
Thank you. Yes. Yes. This is the last slide. Uh, I just want to thank you, Angelica, and everybody. I was uh, fast. I hope not too fast. But anyway, uh, this is my address uh, and my email. If someone uh, uh, wants to ask me some, uh, uh, some information about the project and the way to develop it. And uh, you also have uh, my, uh, uh, the, the link to the, to the project on the National Geographic uh, uh, channel and website. And this is a project that uh, I'm also uh, planning on a twinning. Thank you so much. And to, uh, thank you, Angelica, for the wonderful organization. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Emma, for your interesting uh, information that uh, you provided to us. Every link that uh, you had in your presentation will be uh, in the publication as sorry, well. Uh, so, Angelica, sorry, I, I, I just yes. skipped an L, gmail.com. Now I realized that my... Don't, don't uh, worry, okay. I will uh, write will it. Uh, you will correct. Yes, I will correct it. Don't <laughs> Thank worry. Bye, Thank Angelica. you. Yes, yes. Bye, uh, bye. Is there any... Bye. Uh, but I would like to ask uh, the um, uh, participants here if uh, there are uh, any questions uh, for uh, Irene earlier and um, Emma. Uh, about all maybe, these interesting maybe things. Maybe I, I, I was too fast. I, I really speak very fast in English and, and in Italian as well. It's my defect, my defect, sorry. <laughs> don't uh, worry, I, I don't was worry. Just obsessing by the time because I didn't want to store the time to the other to the other presenters. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's go on to Diedre uh, Rodoniene. I don't know if I pronounce it uh, correct, but Diedre um, uh, is uh, here with us. Uh, I will open her microphone and um, her camera to start sharing and um, have a video uh, from her. Um, hello. Yeah, hello, we can hear you and uh, you can start your uh, camera as well. Diedre. Can you see me? No, uh, share it, please. Uh, yeah, okay. So I will start sharing. Yes. So hello, yes. everyone. Yes. So uh, thank you, Angelique, uh, for invitation to the pro, uh, to this conference. And uh, so I would like to present um, our project. Um, be eco-friendly twinner. So how and how what was it when I was uh, on a twinning conference, democratic participation last year in Dublin. I met my uh, my friend um, uh, from Serbia, partner, and Natasha Stanik, and we um, uh, we talked about uh, problems. What what uh, the students uh, are interested in, and so especially when we talk, we talk uh, we said that. The twinners uh, can, uh, uh, in a twinning project, we can learn about environment. And I suggested to uh, to create uh, uh, the project about uh, uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, uh, so uh, focused on sustainable development goals. So um, next, and we planned and started this project in September. It lasts uh, last till uh, now. Uh, we are uh, we are going to, to the last step uh, evaluation, and uh, uh, so I would like to present uh, uh, this uh, project to you. So next slide, can you, Angelica? Can you show the next slide? Or I can no. Angelica. Hello? So some, some problems maybe with slides? No, oh, yes. Oh, so sorry. Um. So I think some problems. Uh, okay, uh, so I had the technical problems. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Uh, is it okay? Uh, this what slide? I to say is this okay? Invited, this slide. We invited okay. project partners on. from ten different countries: from Lithuania, uh, Serbia, uh, Turkey, Romania, Spain, Ukraine, Greece, Czech Republic, Poland, and Portugal. Uh, so there are twenty-four teachers from ten different countries in this wonderful project, and uh, um, so we uh, uh, we. 
uh, made uh, valuable uh, things uh, on this uh, project. Let's show the second slide. What is the project about? This project about effective actions towards the environment problems and protection. In this project, we focus on sustainable development goal related to the environment. The students share their ideas about how to make sustainable development goal uh, achievable. We um, uh, we focus on a special sustainable development goal. Uh, it's fifteenth. Uh, uh, it is life on land. Projects aim uh, to make pupils sensitive about environment and sustainable problems, to develop an attitude to taking care of the environment, to be proud of their own eco-friendly behavior, to improve skills in uh, graphic design and ITT skills in general, and to encourage creativity and self-expression. So, uh, you can look at the second slide. What we start? We start from the free survey, which was the main important question. Do you know sustainable development goals? And uh, uh, so if you look, 54% uh, said they know, they do not know the sustainable development goals. And I uh, decided that we will have a um, uh, 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 to do more to, to know all these uh, uh, goals. And we uh, focused on, the, uh, we, we created the project, which is very important uh, to know what we, we will have to do to our planet, uh, to make our students uh, uh, more uh, think about uh, creatively, uh, so critical thinking uh, to, um, uh, to make us, um, that our students become more confident and aware of uh, problems in our world. Next. Uh, so we start, uh, because we start in September, it was, uh, um, uh, of course, European Day of Languages, and we start our project with a meeting together. Uh, we say each other um, uh, uh, hello, uh, introduce themselves, and they sing a song. Uh, native song, so because we would like uh, uh, to show uh, uh, that we are all the planet uh, people, people of the planet. Uh, so after that, in November, uh, September, uh, or October and November, uh, so I created the TED Ed lesson. Uh, for the uh, Sustainable Development Goal 15th and uh, uh, some uh, find uh, some links uh, about uh, when the uh, uh, talks, um, uh, the nature talks and after this, uh, when uh, all partners, um, um, all partners uh, uh, see, uh, watch the videos, uh, I'll, um, uh, um, so uh, they uh, uh, they made some things. Next slide. So the students worked. So they uh, made posters. They made uh, very creative things to show that uh, they use uh, so pick up um, uh, plastic, uh, uh, made pictures. So, uh, of course, the others made that school uh, uh, survey to, to know what, uh, what, is, um, uh, what is important in, at school and in the world, and they decided that uh, the first thing uh, um, is uh, you look in the center, uh, so there, uh, there are uh, so on the uh, corner is uh, uh, the Lithuania Tupinai Gymnasium community. Uh, so uh, find that. Um, uh, so uh, the first is um, heal the world is uh, so uh, the the most important. Uh, next, so other partners made um, uh, posters, uh, logos. Um, where they explain their opinion about sustainable development goals. 
zwei von kleinen bis zum nächsten. So, wir sehen, wir können es schon. Uh, so, some uh, made uh, posters by Kanban, using Kanban, or uh, made by drawings. Uh, so, the others um, made uh, from the plastic cups. Okay? Yes, very good. So, the others made, uh, so, from Serbia, made from plastic uh, uh, bottle caps. Uh, so, uh, the same uh, our students write um, uh, in the forum about the problems at schools in cities and countries and they give solution so uh, the, uh i show some um, ideas that um, our students write uh, so uh, there are many cars and motorcycles in our district they want to find a solution for this i live in vilnius it's a big city we have a lot of pollution in our city uh, there is a lot of trash some people sort but others do not we have a polluted here people cut trees and destroy animal habitats during the discussion we also thought about uh, uh, the particular help from uh, us as pupils in the end we agreed that we can help our earth using recycling because there is no uh, it's too much trash in the world uh, so, uh, in my village, people don't throw trash in beans, uh, don't segregate them, they burn uh, various plastic things. I live in Levadi and my town, there are uh, these problems, there are a lot of rubbish on the roads, bad graffiti on the walk, and there are many dog dirts. There is also a lot of noise because of cars and motorbikes. I live in Lithuania, a uh, town called Telshe. In Telshe, we got these problems. A lot of people drive with car, motorbike. I say we need more driver, uh, drive with bicycles, so ride with bicycles and just go for a walk without any cars and motorbikes. So I uh, copy this text from my stu from the students. So we created the common group, uh, uh, and you can see there is the link. Of uh, where you can see all common uh, collaborative book. So every partner made their own alone and uh, using the book creator, we made one book. So be eco-friendly, it's winner. Where we uh, show what every uh, partner uh, did in this, uh, in this uh, sustain, uh, to show um, the sustain, sustainable development go live on land. Next. Um, after that, that we uh, we have uh, no awareness of environment of uh, uh, goals, uh, we created logos uh, and poster of the project. So uh, I made not at the beginning. Uh, so after the when they understand what it is uh, to be eco friendly, uh, and uh, uh, so we made um, uh, some uh, voting platforms uh, uh, and on the um, on the left there is our logo on the right is uh, our project poster so uh, this uh, poster was uh, made uh, from spain and uh, logo uh, was um, was uh, from lithuania and uh, this uh, second come on uh, did the same uh, created uh, student created poster with the slogan what is important for them and uh, um, so uh, uh, there we will give all posters to one book uh, next uh, uh, in december we made greeting to change because we are eco-friendly so we made the uh, so exchange virtual and there is uh, at the bottom is uh, the public we will share uh, all our greetings to each other so to be more eco-friendly after that uh, so uh, we made the common book where we can share uh, the all uh, co um, campaigns which uh, we show recycle reuse or reduce and uh, there we will share in the book uh, uh, so uh, so some Europe's uh, uh, mobility week, uh, the uh, recycling uh, recycling week, and the others. Uh, what we will uh, do uh, the um, 
uh, in the um, uh, in, 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 so, uh, to, to make uh, our world better. So um, the next in February, uh, so we make the creative thing that um, recycling uh, bags and uh, all bags students make uh, own uh, bags and uh, uh, we will show all bags on, on the uh, google document next uh, in february was uh, uh, the safe uh, internet day and we uh, our students created uh, um, comics with what are they aware about um, uh, about uh, uh, safety on the internet and after that uh, we made the video if you uh, click on this um, uh, uh, youtube you can see the all the video of what the students do uh, next uh, uh, students created two calendars because there are um, partners who are 24 teachers with uh, their students and every uh, uh, every partner have a page of uh, uh, the calendar, so they uh, created what do they want. Them. So, uh, especially uh, when uh, the come uh, the winter was uh, uh, and uh, uh, the the hard period uh, of bed and uh, uh, hard time uh, we uh, made the bed figures for our beds and uh, after that uh, so now in spring we are making uh, nesting boxes so uh, there isn't but uh, we made some students made because uh, so they collaborated uh, with their parents they worked at home and uh, now um, uh, created nesting box uh, in the last uh, 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 last activity was uh, to create golden rules. Uh, every partners with uh, students uh, um, created uh, uh, posters. What do they want? What they imagine? What can be uh, the uh, ten golden rules for uh, for uh, them important? And after that, next slide. So. Uh, I collaborate all the uh, opinion, uh, made uh, the voting platform, and we voted for most 10 golden rules, uh, which we have suggested from all students. And there are the results, 10 golden rules, which we uh, created in this. And uh, so uh, our first, uh, last activity is live project title. So uh, the students made uh, so a letter from uh, from uh, this um, uh, from our uh, project title. So be eco-friendly, Twinner. So we achieved the project result and uh, helped uh, the students to become more confident in using IT tools. And the most important, they became aware of eco-friendliness. Thank you for your attention. So uh, I think uh, um, you like. Okay. Thank you very much, Edre. There is a question for you for from Maria Rosaria, uh, Sanina, uh, who is asking uh, what are the practical actions realized as results of your project? She was asking. She wrote a question uh, in the chat box, uh, so uh, she's asking uh, what are the practical actions realized as results of your project? So I don't understand what, what, what is it. Yes, of course. Yes. As, uh, as Athanasia says, uh, uh, we have seen them. We have seen a lot of recycle, uh, a lot of realized material uh, activities uh, here, a lot of results. So, uh, Maria Rosaria, um, are you okay with uh, the slides and the answers that um, uh, Tiedre uh, explained to us uh, for the project's activities? They created a lot oh, of things you. here, uh, as Tiedre uh, presented to us. 
Yes, I thank you. So let's wait if uh, because there are uh, a lot of uh, attendees that are, are uh, writing now in the chat box. So let's wait if there is any other questions, Andre. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, the next uh, uh, presenter is absent for the moment because uh, she had uh, urgently personal um, issues that uh, faced uh, during the night. And um, Maria Georgiadou sent us already her presentation, so I go uh, fast through it. Uh, go Green uh, was about to uh, be presented here with Art and Microbit. Uh, it was about uh, to, uh, a project for uh, the client my agency and biodiversity go green uh, partner countries Greece, Spain, Poland, France, Dan Denmark and Sweden with uh, the main objective to raise awareness of uh, environmental emergency and build global citizenship. Um, her project it is linked to a future Erasmus partnership and it is a combination of two projects uh, in one. Green team consists of the Spanish, Poland and Greek partners and their final product will be a short movie. Uh, the project features the robotics team uh, consists of uh, the Swedish and the Greek partners. They will explore microbit and their final product will be a soil moisture tester. Science teachers uh, are the facilitators of the robotics teams and the ro language teachers are the facilitators of the green team. Uh, the third uh, feature is related to the following, uh, following SDG uh, 13, 14, 15 and 4. Uh, competition, uh, a means of uh, motivation and dissemination because they consider outdoor learning and participation in competitions uh, an effective way, is an effective way of motivating students as well as uh, for dissemination. Um, of course, competitions uh, are a means of motivation and dissemination uh, through Cinematia, Northern and Southern Aegean Student Film Festival, a collaborative film uh, that uh, they already uh, have finished the first scene. And um, competition uh, 2020 Young Reporters for the Environmental is an international education program in which they can participate young people aged uh, uh, 11 to 25 years old. I'm going fast because I would like to present what uh, Maria sent uh, to us. Uh, participant duties, uh, they have to choose one of the three competition categories. Uh, international competition, leaderless uh, campaign, international collaboration. Participants have to choose between three media categories, article, photograph and a video. Uh, follow the participant patient requirements, rules of uh, submission, and the uh, four-step methodology. Uh, investigate, research, uh, report, and disseminate. And uh, Maria uh, attached also uh, a video uh, which will be in the publication and uh, when the um, conference will be finished in the um, uh, future days, uh, they will be published and you will have the chance uh, to watch the video that uh, students um, uh, have as uh, their product. And uh, let's go to the next presenter, who is uh, Christina Nicolaita from Romania, a physics and ICT teacher, European Projects Coordinator, a twinning ambassador and a science ambassador. And uh, she's going to present um, uh, the project, We are creating STEM embassies in the European School uh, Network. Uh, let's uh, give the floor to uh, Christina. Okay, Christina. If you can uh, enable your microphone and uh, your camera and uh, start presenting us uh, your work. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, for my camera, we yes. need to wait yes, a little bit <laughs> because she, she don't want to start for the moment. Uh, Don't worry. I uh, think I can do it. Christina, I, do I you want the, me to change the, the slides for you or yeah. you can do it? Okay. So, um, okay. hello everybody. I, I think I can share my screen and share my video now. Just a moment. 
Mm, not yet. Okay. Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be with you here now in these difficult times. Uh, after one week of uh, online schooling, I would say that uh, I, I won't have any I, I wouldn't be nervous when presenting it to you, but it seems I have some uh, uh, butterflies. <laughs> so, uh, I like to uh, introduce to you uh, our project. We are creating STEAM embassies in the European Schools Network, which is um, um, a twinning project um, associated with uh, Erasmus Plus KA229 uh, project. For those who don't know yet, uh, STEAM come, uh, comes from STEM, which is um, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And the A is for art. So uh, we wanted to involve also art in teaching science. Uh, this is the, the topic of our uh, project. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you, Snezana. This uh, project is coordinated by a uh, school from uh, Stockholm, uh, Sweden. And the e twinning project is uh, coordinated by uh, my school and uh, the um, school from Turkey, our partner from Turkey. Uh, you can see here our Erasmus uh, corner in the school. So, this is the project journal till now. We had uh, four um, international meetings. Uh, in uh, Turkey, the focus was on engineering. In April, the focus on robotics and technology. Dublin, Ireland, physics. And in Romania, in my school in September, our focus was on ecology and sustainability. But every meeting had something related to climate change. So I will uh, I will present to you some of the activities that our students uh, loved. I must say that uh, in every meeting there were um, uh, four or five students, but when they came back in our schools, they uh, um, replicated the activities and involved all uh, their colleagues uh, in these activities. Save the Pelicans was a great activity uh, during the mobility in uh, uh, Mersin in Turkey. So our students needed to create a device, a transportation device, to protect um, pelican eggs and to um, uh, not only to protect them when they are transported to the uh, lab, but they needed to uh, have a safe environment uh, so the, the uh, chicks could uh, go out uh, safe. The next activity, the friend, friendly neighborhood. I have seen this, um, this activity was presented very well uh, earlier, I think by Emma. Uh, Every school, as I told you, um, presented some environmental challenges for us. So from Ireland, we had three um, challenges. Water for life, bees need trees, trees need bees, and greener greens. Uh, now I can say that um, our primary classes are uh, named by some of the um, uh, challenges. We have the dolphins class, we have the uh, bees class, we have the flowers class, so we are taking these challenges very seriously. When we came in Romania, we were in a na natural science museum, museum visit and uh, we um, 
we taste uh, our knowledge. I, I will put some links in the chat. Here you can see some of the pictures from the activities. I don't know. Uh, they are in Romanian, but um, we you will see the, the pictures from the activities here. And uh, as you see there, our students are, are solving a quiz, but the quiz was not only on that uh, piece of paper. They needed to hear some um, noises made by um, birds and animals. You can find some on the link I put uh, you there. And then they needed to, to connect the animals, the birds, with uh, their uh, environment. We uh, went to a recycled paper workshop where all the students were involved. Usually the um, uh, teams were, uh, were uh, multinationals. Uh, our students uh, worked in uh, transnational uh, teams. Uh, I will also, sorry, yes. Um, other recycling activities. Our students made a stand lamp from a recycled newspaper and uh, plastic bottles. Uh, you can see this is where the art uh, is involved in, uh, in uh, our project. We also had some planting activities, a mini garden in the classroom, but also we planted in our schoolyard uh, little trees that will uh, will um, uh, will be in our uh, schoolyard for uh, for many years, starting from now. Oh, Emma, okay, keep in touch. Uh, as I told you, uh, although in Sweden the um, um, focus was on robotic and uh, um, programming. Uh, we can use that also to save, for example, save the oceans. This activity was uh, during uh, Code Week, AI for Oceans. But we also uh, used Minecraft in our biology lessons. I will put some links to YouTube, where you can see some other activities. And uh, using Lego We Do, we created, uh, we recreated some uh, animals. You, uh, you can uh, watch them uh, later. So uh, another activity that was our students' favorite evergreen country activity. Uh, also, uh, there were uh, uh, transnational um, uh, teams and they answered uh, these uh, questions and they created their uh, ideal uh, country, evergreen uh, country, and they loved it. And here you can see a final message from uh, one of uh, uh, of the teams. So uh, our students took it very seriously. They said at the end, uh, the more you save, the more you gain, the more you litter, the more you lose. And on the last um, slide, you will see our uh, challenge. Steam Kahoot Challenge, you can enter and play it uh, on your own pace because uh, during a challenge you can, uh, you can uh, solve, solve it uh, at home. It is not necessarily to be in class. Um, so this is all I wanted to, to present you today. Thank you very much.
uh, I, I will put my... We thank you very much, uh, Christina. Perfect work. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, Christina closed her presentation with a Kahoot challenge. We have a Kahoot for you as well. Uh, we planned it for um, this uh, moment. But uh, let's go on to Christina Zilla, who is here with us. And let's leave the Kahoot and uh, all the other um, uh, things that I would like to present to you for uh, the closing of this uh, unconference. Uh, Christina, uh, the floor is yours for the moment. I will enable your microphone and you uh, can start uh, uh, presenting. Uh, Christina? Uh, can you hear us? I lost you. I cannot see Christina uh, here. Maybe let's uh, go on to uh, Jana Tsukinkova. Uh, Jana. Jana, is, uh, are you here? You can. Yes, yes, I'm here. Oh. Okay, I will go forward to your uh, presentation and um, uh, we can leave uh, Christina's for the end. Uh, give me some minutes, please. No, no. Yeah. So, I can do it myself. I think this is your presentation. Uh, pollution, a never-ending uh, story. No. No, no, the next one. Yes, the next one. It is the next one. I forgot it. So nice to okay. see you, you at are. this unconference. Um, Thanks a do you, lot. Do you to want me to move the slides for you or you can do it? Patience because we are all very busy these okay, days perfect. because of uh, schooling you at can, home. Uh, start uh, your so, camera as well. Uh, I'll, um, uh, I'm going to present you my school. Uh, my school okay, don't team, worry. Um, consists of 28 students from different classes and we have been collaborating together for six years. Um, my school is a twinning school and uh, this project is one of the best eco projects to my mind. It is an active project. Uh, and um, uh, my my twinners uh, has presented uh, our team and our town um, and um, uh, made a lot of collages and videos uh, themselves. So planning was um, a collaborative activity for teachers and uh, some points of it uh, were uh, created by students because uh, this project uh, is for students um, of 15-16 um, years. So they are um, able to create some points as well. Uh, so we presented our town, uh, our um, twinning activities in different projects uh, and uh, uh, we presented uh, uh, our ideas and uh, our leisure time and uh, uh, time together in these presentations. So uh, the next um, point of our pro uh, of our project was um, creating uh, uh, project logos, and uh, we presented. Uh, 
two logos uh, to this contest and uh, these logos uh, were, um, were created uh, with different tools. Uh, the first one uh, was um, painted uh, by uh, our Edwina and uh, uh, the right one is created uh, with uh, word cloud i tool uh, and uh, each country has had to uh, to share uh, as many logos as uh, they could create and one uh, of them was the winner uh, the next um, uh, we suggested to our partners to create uh, eco schools uh, uh, during our project and uh, our idea was um, to um, to have such activities not only for it winners but for the whole school and uh, at first we suggested to uh, collect uh, batteries and um, uh, plastic leads. We have created some leaflets and uh, shared uh, them uh, in school. And then uh, we have uh, planned to plant some trees in our school garden. But uh, this activity uh, was postponed because uh, our schools are closed as um, around the world. Uh, the next um, uh, the next one is um, uh, the activity was um, uh, the group collaboration and uh, we um, have created uh, some international groups uh, the students uh, joined the group they liked and then <coughs> they have um, they had um, uh, shared their ideas about uh, how be how to be uh, eco friendly. Um, our team has had created um, some uh, puzzles and quizzes uh, with uh, learning apps, and uh, we suggested to play them uh, to our. Uh, to our partners uh, and uh, you can use these activities in your project as well or in your school lessons uh, the next uh, <coughs> the next uh, activities uh, uh, were our live events, uh, our code week activities, uh, and uh, they were the most um, uh, enjoyable uh, time for all the students because we could uh, collaborate online with another students and uh, these live events were great and fantastic for all of us and um, our students enjoyed them very much. Uh, code week activities were different in any of our partners and uh, uh, we suggested uh, we suggested all the um, activities uh, themselves and uh, we do uh, we did our activities and uh, um, some of them we uh, suggested to do to our partners uh, the final the final project consists of uh, six points uh, and um, the first one is um, to create um, to create a mural or rules uh, how to recycle uh, and to take uh, of, to take care of environment the next one is um, to create some uh, leaflets, collages, videos uh, about um, uh, giving up smoking um, and um, rules how not to begin smoking, start smoking. Uh, 
the next one is to create a video uh, about uh, <coughs> about reusing some plastic uh, uh, boxes and uh, uh, my students have uh, had created a video uh, how we use uh, our lunch boxes uh, and um, uh, we have uh, some small tweeners and they created this video about uh, themselves how they use uh, plastic lunch boxes. Uh, the next one is um, to collecting uh, batteries and plastic lids uh, as final product and uh, uh, introduce our ideas uh, how to recycle them and how to find some plants or factories to recycle. Uh, the next uh, one activity is to plant trees uh, and uh, my twinners uh, had created some tables um, as you can see uh, in pictures uh, to name uh, these uh, trees uh, at school in the school garden and um, uh, we um, we are planning to uh, make a video uh, with good news how to be um, eco-friendly and um, but these activities are only planned uh, not finished because we are all at home now and we hope to continue these activities uh, when we are at school uh, but uh, some of ideas um, are Come true, came true, and we, we you have um, to uh, watch these pictures on the slide. And um, the last activities uh, of final product will be cleaning the gardens, cleaning the territories and areas near the rivers and um, uh, seas or maybe oceans, uh, because. Uh, um, in this project, um, four countries uh, take place, two schools uh, from Spain, uh, Ukraine, uh, Turkey and Poland. And we hope to finish these final activities this year. So, uh, it was uh, the last... Um, the last slide to my presentation and I have um, uh, created uh, a presentation in Sway and um, I can Um, Jana, I suggest to, to skip uh, the presentation in Sway because of the technical issues and the, uh, the link uh, will be published with all the presentations I, and the, each uh, uh, participant uh, can watch it from there. Uh, is it okay so with thank you? Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I hope we are all okay these days. So uh, take care of you and be safe. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, give the floor now to uh, Christina Zilla. Um, wait a minute. Uh, Christina, you can open your microphone and enable your camera. Um, as I'm going back to your presentation. Uh, can you hear us, Christina? Jana uh, pasted also the Sway presentation in the chat box, so you can watch it from there in your computer.
Okay. Uh, the world we want. We cannot hear you, Christina. It is a problem. And I cannot see uh, Bruna as well. Bruna Tiakosa sent uh, also a presentation uh, with uh, pollution, a never ending story. Now uh, we can go to Bruna's uh, presentation uh, just for waiting uh, to Christina to uh, con reconnect again. And uh, I will move to the uh, Bruna's uh, slides. Uh, well, uh, Pollution, a never-ending story. It is a mid-winning project 2019-20. Uh, uh, kids, uh, after writing the project, pla uh, teachers uh, planned uh, the project, uh, introduced themselves and the schools and the, their areas. Uh, they celebrated the Day of Languages and the Halloween. Uh, then they created transnational teams uh, which uh, they had chats to decide about the problem they wanted to talk about and the possible solutions. Uh, as we can see here, they wrote in uh, the Padlet, uh, they created uh, pages and sub-pages for the um, uh, transnational teams, uh, plastic pollution as far as, uh, as we can see here. Uh, then we have uh, the students uh, uh, starting to write a story, chapter uh, after chapter. Each uh, chapter was divided into parts and each uh, nation uh, had to make a comic and following the given procedure. And all the strips were uploaded in Book Creator. Um, instructions, they gave also instructions of, uh, for the Book Creator. Here are the instructions that the teachers uh, used. Uh, that is all from Bruna. Uh, it is an ongoing project. And uh, Christina, uh, I will go again to you. Is it possible to open your microphone? Or I can read it for you, the world we want. Obviously, I cannot um, uh, transfer uh, all the things that you would like to share with us. But anyway, it is uh, something. At least I can see your project here. Uh, and uh, hello, yeah, the hello. That you have planned. Christina, oh, is that well, you? Yes, great. Thank you. You can hear me. Oh. Okay, we can hear you now. Great, uh, great. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry. Sorry for my uh, yes, delay. Yes, perfectly for well. Today. Yes. Um, I'm very happy to be here with you today. And um, uh, now I will present uh, our project, The World We Want. Um, my partners are from uh, Italy and Greece. Um, one of my partner, partner is uh, Zuzana Mesarosova from Slovakia, uh, Laura Ridolfi from Italy, and Vasiliki Papayuanu. Um, my project, our project, uh, was to discuss about our uh, SDGs uh, proposed by the uh, United Nations. Hello, nice to hear you, darling friends from all countries. Nice to see you, Atina. Uh, so, um, our world and climate change. Um, we discussed in this project with our students about all our 17 goals uh, according to the United Nations Deve Development Program. Uh, they told about um, the importance of um, um, conserve and uh, preserve our um, water and our land. Um, Resending forests, ch changing rainfall patterns, and rising sea levels will, um, will worsen uh, existing economic, political, and humanitarian stress and affect human development in all parts of the world. Um, so, um, one of uh, uh, the most uh, uh, goals who will uh, uh, discuss about that uh, problem um, was about um, 
our uh, climate change. And um, uh, this project was uh, developed uh, between 2017 and 2018. Uh, in this project was involved students uh, uh, between 16 and 18 years old. Um, and um, we propose to uh, deal with uh, issues connected with the global goals for sustainable development that the UN have uh, identified as priorities for all people of our planet. Um, our hope is to uh, create a better world for all within the next 15 years. Um, our um, aims was to reflect on res responsible and active citizenship, to lead and motivate our students to be global and active citizens of the world, and to widen their horizons about uh, the SDGs, to make progress in mutual understanding of the vision of better world, uh, its better present and future, to collectively de develop and uh, implement innovative actions that further sustainability at the local level to develop uh, the abilities to learn from others. Um, uh, about our activities, uh, in September we um, First, we present our uh, countries, towns, schools, and students. Um, all of us have a lot of experience in it winning projects because uh, um, all the schools, uh, and especially uh, from Slovakia and Romania, are also it winning schools. Um, in October, uh, in, between October and May, the, our partners work in the project. Uh, we discuss about different uh, topics like uh, do you feel responsible um, for our world? What, what are the SDGs? Can we do something with uh, our SDGs to make our world better? And uh, to discuss about uh, ending poverty, hunger, achieving gender equality, um, inclusion, quality education, and other um, other subjects. Um, in the pictures, you can see one of our activities, practical activities, like uh, to plant uh, different uh, trees in our uh, school gardens in Romania and Slovakia, uh, in front of our school. Um, also, we organized a different video conference and um, also we play Kahoot uh, about um, climate change. Um, and um, um, also, we used the Web 2.0 in, in our project work. Uh, we cooperate uh, via forums and create a web page uh, of our project. And in June, we evaluate our um, projects. Uh, project. Um, about um, uh, activities, um, we think is um, important to take urgent action to combat climate change and about uh, the impacts. Uh, so, um, about climate change, uh, we know um, this affecting every country on every continent, and. Um, uh, so we think and organize different tasks like uh, to create a list of the pledges um, and I can uh, tell you some uh, pledges like um, decrease the temperature at home by one uh, um, Celsius, uh, turn off the lights um, whenever I do, if they don't don't need them. Uh, switch off uh, uh, TV or computer or stereo if uh, they don't use them. Change uh, our light bulbs into energy sa uh, saving bulbs. Use renewable resources. Uh, sort and recycle uh, our waste. Use public transport and bicycles. Um, of course, um, they play different games, quizzes, crossword about uh, climate change. 
Uh, they used also quizzes, they create PPTs, uh, Quizlet, and uh, different other games. Um, about uh, the goal 14, um, conserve and sustainable, uh, sustainability use the ocean, seas, and marine resources for um, our sustainable development, life uh, below water. Um, they learn and play with Quizlet about how to save life underwater. Uh, and also, each of us find an organization in our country or region working on water related to uh, this issue and introduced to our partner. In Romania, we work with uh, our um, NGO organization, um, Mare Nostrum. It was a local organization uh, who want to protect the sea and uh, also the animals from our sea. Um, the next? Yes, please. Christina, you can turn the slide. Okay, I will try. You can turn it from the okay. narrow because I don't <laughs> I have think access it for the moment. Uh, also, um, about life on land, um, we propose to solve different puzzles uh, and also to express our opinion in our Padlet. Uh, I can uh, tell you some uh, my students' reflection about that. Uh, um, they told us uh, print less or uh, use technology at the, at the office, at home, or at the bank by requesting electronic documents, bills, send emails instead of faxes or paper mail and use electronic memos and instead of paper uh, or other, uh, we should stop throwing trashes in forests plant more trees where there isn't vegetation and the most important we should stop massive de deforestation. Um, okay, uh, also we create um, a very nice competition and uh, our students create uh, um, an interactive tour through SDGs and win some it winning goodies. Um, there were uh, winners from uh, different countries, from um, um, Greece, one from uh, Italy, one from uh, Romania. Um, our resu results was um, we create a web page of our uh, project. Uh, then uh, my students present, uh, presented their projects uh, to uh, other public, to their schoolmates, parents, uh, different um, um, NGOs or uh, to authorities. Um, then they sent uh, different uh, uh, information to our local newspapers and uh, other press. Um, also, we celebrate uh, on it winning day in May. Um, and uh, also, uh, this project was pre presented uh, in UN Vienna uh, because um, our partners from Slovakia, uh, Thomas and Daniela, the students from Business Academy in Levice, uh, presented this project. Um, the world we want in UN in Vienna in a workshop and uh, uh, they, um, uh, their presentation was very appreciated by uh, uh, the participants. Of course, uh, evaluation of our project was important. Uh, according to these results of the evaluating survey filled uh, by um, uh, all the students uh, participated uh, participation uh, in uh, our project, uh, 51 students of school was involved in this project. Of course, uh, our project uh, got European quality labels in uh, all these um, four countries. And um, also, this project won uh, the fourth place in Slovakia winning competition in 2018. Um, thank you 
for uh, your attention. Sorry. With very much, Christina. Uh, despite the technical problems, you presented us an interesting uh, project. And uh, uh, congratulations to you and all your partners. And of course, uh, congratulations to all uh, the students. And of course, the congratulations go to everyone uh, who were here uh, today with us to present uh, a project or a kind of activity that uh, uh, developed in um, uh, his or her school. So now uh, I would like um, to, before sorry, playing, uh, I would like to uh, um, share something Bruna, for you. Bruna sent me a message now uh, and yes, uh, she yes, told yes. me um, yes. uh, she wants to use uh, her presentation now. Is possible? Uh, yeah, no, uh, I presented no, I her presentation she, she, earlier I, I because think Bruna I cannot is see here her and, um, uh, in the uh, said, uh, participants. Uh, she wants yeah. to uh, use uh, her presentation now, if it's possible, please. Um, okay. Bruna, uh, yes, it Jacosa. is possible, but uh, which uh, name? I cannot see Bruna here. <sighs> I, I, I will check. She's not here. Her name, I cannot see her name here. Yes, yes, please. Um, she had problems with internet. Yes, I know that uh, Anna problems, told but us I cannot uh, see uh, her name. Here. But uh, she, she, will, she will solve, I yes. think. She will solve. Um, okay, let's. Okay, I will wait for her. Uh, let's okay. share what we I would also, like to share uh, with the you, and then we can Bruna go back to this uh, project. Okay, uh, I will. I will okay. hope. I hope I will uh, uh, solve that problem with Bruna now. I will help her. Okay. 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 Yes, I try. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, okay. Okay. In five minutes. Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, um, Creative Classroom Group, as you know, is a very active uh, group. Uh, it started this year with a campaign uh, in um, uh, the twin space of uh, the group uh, uh, with uh, what is climate change uh, for you. Uh, the main concept was to create a, a video, a, a joint video in all the languages from uh, uh, the participants who could uh, take part. Uh, as far as I can can see for the moment there are videos from uh, students but not videos from teachers so uh, if you would like to participate in uh, this uh, group campaign to create um, about a 10 seconds video writing uh, your opinion uh, on what is climate change for you and then you can send it uh, to me uh, via this uh, uh, email so in your language of course so uh, i could create a joint video and uh, with this video we could celebrate the um, european day of languages uh, in um, september but uh, please a 10 uh, 10 seconds video in your language about what is climate change so uh, in this way we can have uh, a lot of uh, different languages and a lot of um, uh, specifications in your uh, language. Uh, the second activity was a forum discussion uh, about uh, how do we know that the climate is changing, what, uh, why does it matter that the climate is uh, changing. A lot of you participated in this uh, discussion, but now uh, after the um, uh, coronavirus virus uh, pandemic, we have a new uh, status uh, world quo, like uh, the, uh, uh, we can see that the pollution uh, in China or um, uh, Italy has uh, uh, diminished. So, uh, if you want to participate in this forum discussion after, after this uh, new world status, you are very welcome to do this. Uh, of course, uh, we started um, a, a group uh, discussion about uh, what 
what uh, e, what is the teachers role the teachers and educators uh, using a, a new uh, collaborative uh, tool uh, in, and interactive tool which is talk uh, talk wall uh, in fact, I opened a new talk uh, wall uh, for all of you about uh, what you have learned uh, today. But uh, I would like to share uh, this uh, link uh, for the uh, this topic: uh, what uh, is the role of educators and the teachers uh, regarding to the climate change? Uh, I would paste it uh, in the chat box. Uh, the 6032 is the code that uh, you can use to participate in this talk wall. And uh, uh, the second link is about what we have learned uh, today from all these uh, inspiring presentations. You can use uh, this link and uh, the code is uh, 7407 to participate in the talk wall. Uh, it is a great tool that you can use it with uh, your students as well. Uh, what is the student's role? Uh, you have to engage your students in a way, but it is quite different uh, uh, this period that uh, we have uh, school closures. But um, uh, here it is the role of uh, uh, creative betweeners to find a way to engage uh, uh, students uh, uh, while teaching remotely. Uh, an example is uh, to make a terrarium mini garden. Uh, some days ago, I proposed to you uh, to um, uh, share ideas and opinions about how we can use uh, things, uh, materials that uh, we have uh, in our uh, home uh, in order to use uh, new, to uh, produce new things. So uh, in this way, we can uh, consume uh, less, we can um, uh, use uh, old things more, we can recycle, we can reproduce things. Uh, and of course, another challenge, it will be uh, during the next week, I would like from you to um, share with us in the Padlet. I will uh, share the uh, link in the chat box uh, later. Uh, of a, um, share a link or an idea of a project uh, of a, uh, sorry, of a video lesson or a lesson plan that you created these days uh, to give uh, to your students in order to teach remotely. So if you create, uh, you have created a, a video lesson or uh, you um, uh, wrote some kind of a lesson plan and uh, you did share it with uh, your students or you are planning to do it so, uh, please share it with us, uh, be creative and uh, share it with us uh, in um, the creative classroom group in order to uh, um, for all of us uh, it winners to uh, use uh, to reuse them uh, here i have you some links uh, about the um, some kind of resources uh, sdg goal 13 about the climate change from the national uh, geographic resource library from in the intergovernmental panel on climate change and of course uh, about um, a link about uh, uh, the acti all the activities that uh, you could do uh, participating in the twinning spring campaign and uh, if uh, bruna uh, is here with us. Uh, she could share her presentation. Or, um, Christina, if you would like to share it, uh, um, talking uh, about it, I don't know if it is possible, but I, uh, Christina? Okay. Uh, uh, the meeting uh, is uh, uh, recorded. So once I have the presentations, uh, all the presentations uh, throughout the recordings, I will upload them uh, into the um, uh, group to in space. Of course, it is not possible to do it uh, right now. 
but I cannot uh, see uh, Bruna Giacosa. And uh, if Christina is going to present her uh, presentation, it is okay. If not, we can go to the uh, game. Okay. Are you ready to play a game? Okay. So. Uh, connect uh, your mobiles or your uh, tablets uh, uh, with the Kahoot it Kahoot it and uh, be ready to use the link that I will uh, Show it to you. Okay, here is the link twenty five fifty two twenty five When you will be ready, we can start playing it. Okay. Seventy eight, seven, uh, twenty, twenty, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one players. Come on, we can do it better. Okay, we can do better than this number. Kahoot it, okay? Come on, I can see Emma, Andrea, Olga, Athena. Olga, Cristina, Andreas. Come on. Come on, we can do it better. Come on. Yes, yes. We can do better than this number, yes. Yes. I can see 33 players. Should I start? What do you think? Should I start? Okay, so here is the first question. Are you ready? It winning spring campaign this year focuses on cultural heritage, COVID-19, creative classroom or climate change and environmental challenges. Come on. And of course, it's about climate change and environmental challenges. Let's go to the next question. 
And uh, Christina is uh, leading this uh, round. Next question, e twinning promotes the annual theme with, uh, with what? Spring campaign, learning events and seminars, group activities and project kits, uh, all the above, what? Yes, of course, all the above. And uh, Anita S. now is uh, the first. Let's go to the third question. We have uh, seven more. Guides uh, provided by twinning refer to reducing plastic and recycling, sustainable nutrition, climate change, or all of them. Of course, all of them. And uh, Anita is leading again. Let's go to the fourth question. Ecosystems do not provide these essential services. Food, supermarkets, fresh water and clean air or shelter. Do not provide these essential services. Of course, it was uh, the supermarkets. Andreas, Andreas, you are leading the team now. Let's go to the fifth question. Eco schools are friends of e-twinning. True or false? Yes, of course, it's true. Eco schools are friends of e-twinning. And Andreas is still the first. The global challenges of climate change and environmental de degradation require an individual response, a local response, a global response or a national response. Come on. I know you can do it better. All of you. A global response, of course. All the world should uh, contribute in this. Okay, Andreas, congratulations for the moment. And let's go to the seventh question. Circular economy is a perspective on sustainability, true or false? Okay, of course it's true. And the next. Uh, oh, Andreas is leading girls. What are you doing? The next question. Let's go. Try your best. One of these years' objectives in it winning is to help students act as responsible citizens, help students plant trees, help students play a guitar, or help students open the computer. Help students act as responsible citizens. Of course, uh, e-twinning promotes active citizenship. And uh, okay, Andreas is still the first one. And let's go to uh, the next question. E-twinning students develop competencies in science, technology, and engineering. Learn about citizenship competencies. Understand the changes caused by human activity, or all of them. Come on, all of you. I want to see the 35 answers. Of course, all of them. And uh, Andreas is the first, Tuba is the second, and Zveta is the third uh, 
Let's go now to the 10th question. Creative Classroom Group is an NGO. Plans new activities on climate change and environmental challenges. Is a group oriented in sustainable development or is not interested in climate change and environmental challenges? Plans new activities on climate change and environmental challenges. Of course, uh, you can see them uh, in the next uh, weeks. Oh, yes. So, Andreas is the first, Sveta is the second one, and uh, uh, Yannikopoulou is the third. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you for taking part in this Kahoot game. Okay, and uh, after this... Uh, uh, funny Kahoot game. Uh, I would like to thank you all for being here. Uh, some of you were all the, um, during all the conference, some of uh, you uh, followed us uh, during the second part or during the first part, but I would like to congratulate all of you for your ideas, uh, all of you for your inspiring projects and the activities that uh, you do with your students. Uh, keep on going with um, the same enthusiasm and uh, is uh, this we need uh, uh, this difficult uh, time? Suppose you can hear me, okay, because I was writing uh, I, in the chat. I would like uh, thank you uh, I stay to close uh, the whole conference. day actually, and I thank have to much. reveal that I, even I was cooking while uh, I was listening to your presentations uh, at some point. So keep up the good job. Uh, as Angeliki said, it's difficult, but uh, one way or another, we are all most, I mean, globally in the same situation. So uh, let's say that this makes the situation a little bit better because I think uh, that if some of you like you were out enjoying life, uh, going, uh, you know, wherever, being at school and the rest were, you know, locked in their houses, this would be even more difficult. So we are all in the same situation. So we have all to try to do our best. We have to be thankful that we have our uh, health, we have a house to stay in, we can still do our job, okay, with many difficulties, but we can manage because there are other people who lost their jobs, other people who maybe not have a house. So we have to think positive. This is the best try we can, the best thing we can do. Keep the enthusiasm you're having, try to be positive, and all this energy and all this community and citizenship helping each other is the most important thing and it will help us go through all this thing and be happy and remember it when we are back to normal. So have a nice uh, afternoon all, enjoy your activities at home and maybe I will see some of you also next week in uh, the twinning School online conference. Have a nice uh, afternoon all and thank you Agiliki for moderating the whole event that I think it went really great. Thank you. Thank you, bye, Irini. Thank you, all of you, for being here. Um, the presentations uh, will be published um, uh, more or less the next week, as well as uh, the um, recordings. Uh, keep.